Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in for Blurred's Eye View, Ohio's nerd threesome you'd actually like. And if you're watching right now, don't forget to subscribe to us on Twitch and YouTube and hit that notification bell to get the latest geek news that you can always listen to us anywhere you listen to podcasts, including iHeartRadio, Apple, and Spotify. But first, we have a movie code giveaway from our partners at Paramount Pictures. Let's pull that up right quick so you can get a good look at that. Here we go. Paramount Pictures. Thank you to our partners at Paramount Pictures. Uh, it is the movie Panama starring Mel Gibson and Cole Hauser and is now available on digital and on demand. When the U.S. is on the brink of invading Panama, a former Marine, Cole Hauser, is hired by a CIA operative played by Gibson for a top secret arms trade mission. Gibson and Hauser make an unstoppable duo in this edge of your seat action thriller. You can buy or rent Panama and watch it today. Rated R. But if you want to win that, win, if you want to get that free code, Hit it with the hashtag rigs to win a free digital code by any by any means necessary. You can hit that di digital code. But first off, let's start this thing all right. Here we go. Oh 
uh, in the sky it's a bird, it's a plane, flying high I emerge through the flames, have no fear I'm here so stand back, melanin activate the name is super black, in the sky it's a bird, it's a plane, Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. Uh, imagine that, a future that's super black. Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact. What would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black. Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back. Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact. As I encounter evils the world face, demons the world makes. I needed the world to stay. Rest in peace to Chad, which they killed all the Black Panthers. Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers. Suits in DC, pray it lead to a civil war. It ain't no Justice League. What's the need to be civil for? Propel like the juggernaut, it's clear, ain't no stopping. This. The world in grave danger, who can stop the apocalypse? They killed all the heroes, the new ones don't really care. But if you need me, put your fist up in the air. Yeah, in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. Flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate the name is super black. Hey, everybody. Once again, I said thank you for tuning in to Bird's Eye View. We have a special guest with us tonight. Her name is Mashai Davis, or Dash. I'm sorry. Mashai Dash. <laughs> Whoa. She is, yeah. <laughs> I got so many names running past me right now. Uh, Mashai is a blogger. She's basically an every woman over here. Uh, she is a blogger. A writer, a sci-fi writer, an author, a uh, speaker. Uh, what else do you do? What else don't you do? Um, Content creator, writer I, from DC. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't um, complete like lifestyle changes. Like, all <laughs> that. So my arms are still chubby. But yeah, my name, is, my name is M Shy. You guys, M Shy. M -shy. <laughs> uh, so you, you, so you. It says, I know you wrote, you've written music since you were little, actually, since you were a kid, and poetry yeah, well, as well. I started out with poetry. Um, I didn't start writing music till like eight or nine years old. My mom and my dad were both in bands. My mom was in her oh. own bed, and she would play with, with my dad. My dad was in Sun Ra's orchestra, so he played with Sun Ra for about 20 years. And mm -hmm. she would play on some of his gigs when he wasn't playing with the band. Um, there's a lot of instruments around our house. So I played the flute for a bit. I still play the flute, but not really. I only play the flute um, just to play songs from Ocarina of Time, from Zelda. That's it. I don't play <laughs> yeah. anything else. I don't, I don't try to learn like little <laughs> bits of Tchaikovsky or I don't play Ode to Joy. I, I only play like Gerudo Valley shit, you know, just, just random. <laughs> <laughs> random stuff like that that's that's the extent of my so explain to the people <laughs> who there. who are not familiar with the term speculative fiction okay so speculative fiction you can think of it as an umbrella that encompasses uh several subgenres right so under speculative fiction you have fantasy you have you know um, magical realism you have science fiction you have sci sci fantasy i mean there's a bunch of different combinations, but it all falls under speculative fiction. So you have regular fiction, which can be, you know, like um, creative memoir, it, everything from creative memoir to like just hard, straight up fiction, just made up stories, but they're still set in a, you know, like a realistic uh, universe. And then we have everything outside of that, which is speculative fiction, where everything may be the same, except for one element that takes it out of the realm of reality mm -hmm. or everything could be in a totally different universe and all those things are encompassed under the term speculative fiction see that's what i think is a, a dope concept because it, it does this fall like does Af afrofuturism fall under that umbrella so to speak so afrofuturism is a little bit bigger right because mm -hmm. speculative fiction is a is a is a genre of, of literature afrofuturism is an aesthetic it's a discipline. It has its own um, glossary of terms. It has its own proponents, and it was it was coined and studied. So I would say it's um, maybe even a little bit grander. Now you can write a speculative fiction tale that has an Afrofuturist theme, but you know, 
I that's, think, I think that's, overall, it's a, it's an aesthetic. That, let's let's go over some of the stuff you've done because you've been featured in Blativity, uh, Harry for Harry Black Side. Morgan the Bomb out. just died. And wherever she is, she just cringed. <laughs> it's Blavity. It's Blavity. Blavity. Oh, but Bla- what I'm gonna Blavity. call it Blativity from now on. Blavity. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for Harriet, BlackSciFi.com, Madam Noir, uh, your former co-host for Black Sci-Fi TV and a more with public access television show that was in Philly Cam. Uh, short stories have been on Scribes for Neota, Our Voices, uh, Our Imagination in a Compendium, and in an Awakened Voices online magazine. You are all over the place, and I oh love this. <laughs> Two I publications love- entirely all over. I'm trying to get there. I'm trying to get there. Quirky okay. Black Sci-Fi Tales, Volume 1, and a volume of poetry called Women in Sajud. Is that it? You got it. It's funny that you got that, and that's the one that everyone screws <laughs> up. But you're just like, glad I, I try. I try so hard. DC, would, if he was here, he would tell you. Uh, a poem from a collection of currently featured in the art catalog for the Black Angel of History, Myth Science, uh, Meta Modernism, and Metaverse of Car- at Carnegie Hall. Wow. You, mm-hmm. My God. You, you're a writer's writer. At this point, you 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 do a lot of writing. You do a lot of no. this <laughs> sci-fi uh, uh, takes on things, and uh, and you're blurred, so that goes without saying. I see some of the anime posters behind you, and you mentioned o- right. Ocarina Time uh, Time for your flute playing and on your flute, and obviously Zelda is probably your favorite game. Am I taking that out of context? Zelda is one of my favorite games because I feel like, and I'll say this every in every platform that I that I go to, I feel like games have gotten too real. I don't want like I, I watched someone play a, a game where they had like money problems in the game, and I don't want to play games like that. I want my I want my stuff really dinky. I want escapism. I don't want I don't want have fear of of like getting shot in the in the streets, killed in the streets oh of gosh. the game of the game. So you know. <laughs> so games have evolved. I accept that. Like my son made me watch rapper T Grizzlies play GTA because his mod is so expensive. All he's got this crazy mod of the game mm-hmm. that's like so expensive. So he makes, and that's what he like. Like he doesn't even like to play anymore. My son, like he barely mm-hmm. plays right now. He just like watches run throughs and playthroughs. And oh I was just dude. like, man, how far we've come. Uh, yeah, I think what what one thing I've noticed about this newer generation of gamer is uh not just the gamer but youtube you know i noticed that there are more people watching people play games and walkthroughs than anything and it's so it's weird to me because you know when i do game i'm like well i might i might if i was to watch something on youtube about a gamer i'm like i might be stuck on something and i'm like how did i get how do i get out of this i'm not watching you anybody watch do the a whole thing yeah, I'm not watching anybody do. I watched this guy. I, I forget his full name. Something ghost or whatever. I forget his name on YouTube. Really, really huge YouTuber. I'm sorry his name has escaped me right now. But I watched his whole playthrough of uh, of RE Village. <laughs> the whole thing. Like, it was a movie. And I was like, ooh, who don't go in here? She going to get you and her vampire daughter's going to eat you. Like, it was like a whole, I was really watching it turn for turn. And it, and it was absurd. And it was extremely meta. And I, I regret nothing. And I would do it again. <laughs> so, yeah, it is. bad use of my time and everything you know, <laughs> because that's just how I am. It's crazy that so many people do that, and like you said, you look behind like I can't believe I just sat there and watched the entire thing. And I, I, I think I guess there's a certain aesthetic to it that people just I don't know. It's a well, okay. So this this is what it is for me. I cannot game at the level that these people are gaming. I hair would grow on my legs until it was braidable. Bills would stack on my counter. Like stuff would get out of my house would fall into disrepair and the fall under foreclosure. I cannot get so for me it's getting to a point in my life where I have prioritized writing and a zillion other creative things over gaming, or whatever, but I do enjoy gaming and gamers whatever and I, I like to watch somebody be thrilled with the game right so i do want to watch it but i want to watch it at my my own my own time so like i yeah. follow these kids on twitch that are really you know 
kicking ass. I also like the disruption in industry, right? I like the idea that kids back in my day, like they had to flip burgers. I was like, what else can you do? You're going to go work in a crappy clothing store, which I did. Work in right. Popeye's, which I did. Coming <laughs> home on the X2 smelling like chicken, making everybody hungry. <laughs> and it was just my uniform, right? So now kids are like, no, I'm in my room making like thousands of dollars a month. So I, I like the disruption. I like the kids are doing something that they're passionate about and they can get a check, you know, put towards their Right. school or probably not school probably but you <laughs> so know what the way the way things are nowadays you never know uh yeah. <laughs> when you hear when you hear some of the youtubers and some of the basically the twitch streamers you know and shout out to twitch you know some of the twitch streamer, streamers who are literally just gaming and yeah. making money and yeah. it's insane i'm like my mother lied to me uh <laughs> Our mother's lied. Get <laughs> lied to us. Get a job. You said they were right our brains, and they're making thousands and thousands of dollars. No, yeah. Um, so. I'm shout out to everyone doing something that someone said was not going to make them money, and it totally makes them money, right? Seriously. So, seriously, yeah. So I was definitely I, told that I was never going to make any money as a writer, and you know what? Even though they were right, I sold your own. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> I, <laughs> I was like, wait, what happened now? No, no, I'm kidding. But I had the, I had a professor, and this this guy, he was such a he was such a cool guy, whatever. And he was really really snarky, and he was like, "Oh, all of y'all think you're gonna be the next American author? Well, let's just open up." So he had this big book that he kept of all the writing jobs, like, and they would update it yearly. This annual big like Bible of writing gigs, and he was like, and he would lick his fingers, like, "Let's see if next big American author." is inside this book of jobs. Mm -hmm. And he was like, go page to page, like, no. Ooh, look, technical writing. Ooh, content writing. Ooh, right. legal writing. And he was like, trollless. And his class was, of <laughs> course, te for technical writing. And that is definitely one of my gigs. <laughs> so every time I, I like shake my fist at the sky, like, damn you. Damn no, you my God. <laughs> but, um, but also, I'm also going to do the great American author thing, because, you know, why yeah, not? Gotta, troll, gotta troll your old college professors a little bit. Yep. So By doing your thing. We gotta we have a special guest with us tonight. <clears throat> we'll bring him in. Who it is? David the O Oliver. What's happening? Baby? Okay, okay, you know? okay. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> What's up now? Let me shut this down, man. I'm trying to talk to y'all like this here. I'm <laughs> go back and forth trying to do this stuff here. How how you doing, Miss Shay? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. It's actually M Shy. M -shy. I want to make sure I say it right because I just want to say Shay Shay just messed it up. Because guess confusing. what? It's confusing. I probably should have written it how my name is, but I chose to put the handle up there because sometimes people miss the handle or I forget to give it, and then I don't have a way to connect with people after the stream. So I was like, I'm just gonna leave it. But it's it's M Shy. So in case you guys are out there and you want to check her down, it's M like M M M. Shy, as let's give her the announcer. Group. Let's give her the announcer um, intro. Ladies the announcer intro. M Shy. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, because for about five seconds ago, I had to give you the DC accent because guess what? I am DC right here behind you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How DC are you? Are you like? Uh, are you new? Can you not hear uh, it in my voice, street, sister? Are you street corridor DC? Are, are you Girl, are you are, are you, you Noma DC or are you Shrimp Boat DC? <laughs> Girl, I take you back, baby. I'm Coliseum DC. Oh damn! Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we got DC in the house over here. We got DC, we got DC in the house. No, because I like you know, it's very weird for me now. Like if I go out with my friends. Might be at a bar, and everyone likes to posture in DC, right? They always ask you, what, "What do you? How long you been here? What do you do?" It's a very pompous, self-important oh, yes. city. Oh, like, I, I was involved in. I worked on the hill for three years. I get it. People love to <laughs> posture here, and so you, I'll be in the bar, like, "Oh yeah, so like, where are you from?" I'm like, "I'm from DC." And like, "No, no, no." Before you got here, and I was like, "I'm from, I'm from DC. I'm from here. I was born here." And like and, and, and still sometimes they're just like shoo and a douche new like 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 I'm speaking <laughs> sin to them or something like they don't they don't it doesn't like it doesn't doesn't register with them. I'm like there are no, still, I'm glad still you, here 
<laughs> I'm glad you said it because most people don't understand when I say it to them, like, how does that really register? I said, because you got a lot of people who transported here or remained here after they graduated school and considered yeah. themselves Washingtonians. But like, no, no, no. If you was not here in late 70s, throughout the 80s until 1995, you're not a true DC person because you don't know the history and the struggle yeah. with Larry Bird. If you, you, know if you miss the chocolate city era, then you can definitely call yourself an honorary Washingtonian. You can say DC is my home. But like the chocolate city era was DC at the height of its culture. It was, um, yes. it was go go. It was a lot of controversial black leadership. There was all of just, just, and also something that and this was in the 90s. Well, the 80s and 90s. Know, is that DC had almost was very insular fashion wise, right? We had our own brands, like so. When I was growing yes. up, DC really didn't wear outside brands. We we, we, we no wear way. like the national brands like Nike, but we had like our own like shooters and and um, DDTP <laughs> and Madness, and we would wear the, the keychains. And that's how you that was like your DC name, like it was like your calling card when you went out and about. They're like, "What you got that keychain on your neck for?" I'm like, "You wouldn't understand, baby girl. Like this is some DC shit. Drop socks, the crispy white drop socks." With the uh, just with the A six, we had a little with the little tennis skirts. We had it, we had it rocking. It was a beautiful time. See, that's a vibe. That's a whole vibe. But wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. One test, vibe. one test, one test. Say the mayor's name for back in the day. Mur who? Mary, Mary, Murray, 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 Murray. Ah, ah, yes. <laughs> you, yes. And yes. Mary and Barry or Murray and Murray. Which Murray, Murray. <laughs> you want Muriel Bowser or you want Murray, Murray Bowser? Murray, 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 Murray. 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 <laughs> Oh, so for those who don't know this, like, so Baltimore has an accent, um, and it it leans on the oohs and twos sounds yep. a lot, and DC has an accent that leans on the er sound a lot. So we wouldn't exactly. say carry out, or oh, we're not going to the carry, we're going to the curry out. Curry out. Yep. There <laughs> are no sauce, chicken wings. You do not have a mother in DC. You have a mother, mm -hmm. and you gotta deal with that. It's M U V A, <laughs> and you you actually yeah, you you prefer a mother's love to a mother's love. You prefer a mother, you prefer your mother and your it, father. It feels a little closer to home. It that's what it is. It feels closer to home, yeah. That's how it is, man. That's why I said when she's hit, when she when she said the X2, I said, okay, let me jump back on this interview. So when she said the X2, I said, girl, you talking my language. On I'm one tired of talking to these. On huh? one bus transfer. And when it ran out, I'll put my thumb over the time and I try to walk on. <laughs> Girl, hold, on this and I hold on, hold on, hold on. You ain't never take the pencil and just do the little black thing. That's why we would do from the A twelve, from the A two. Nah, I would just tactfully like Wait, it was like all a the sleight of hand. I used to put my thumb over it, put my thumb over the okay, time, okay, okay, and just finesse okay. on there. But yeah, it's, oh, you should learn that trick because that's how we get from the A two to the ninety six to get uptown to Duke Ellington and all that stuff. So now, they're gonna look, now they're going to look for the ticket. Oh, yeah. Don't tell all the secrets. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Wait a minute. Here's a secret X bus. Remember the X3? Man, that's that X3. I don't know. X3 was like the bizarro X2. It, everybody on that gen looked haunted. Like they were like some of the Stranger Things underworld of like of the X2 people. I don't know. It was like a guy on there trying to sell you a watch. And he would have on like really like bad shoes. And then he would sit super close to you. And even when you didn't buy the watch, he wouldn't move seats. He would still sit next to you for the whole ride. It's like glance over at you. Oh my god! <laughs> but you gonna buy this watch, and I'm not gonna buy the watch, Tyrone. Oh, oh, oh man, let me go. We go get to this. Tip. We go get into this segment. Uh, we got we got the blurred news of the week. So here we go. Oh, several tweets have been coming out about Zach Snyder from Zack Snyder, Wayne T. Carr, and Ray Fisher. And it had fans in a frenzy. And if you were, and they were had them thinking about the return of the Snyderverse, uh, with eight with the AT&T and Warner Media and Discovery Plus completing a deal for a merger, fans wondered if the changing of the guard and the heads of the DCEU media meant that Snyder and Fisher would be wooed back and to continue with the Snyderverse. Unfortunately, that would not be the case as the tweets were indicating the anniversary of Snyder's Justice League, which was released on HBO Max. Uh, Wayne T. Carr also shared. A picture of what we could have gotten, <laughs> what we could have gotten as a uh, John Stewart Green Lantern. Now, yeah. this was the this was the concept picture that they had, but this is Wayne T. Carr in the Green Lantern suit. Uh -huh. What what we could have gotten? 
he doesn't look bad from what we've seen. Uh, you know, in some of the some of the tweets. This was from uh, Zack Snyder. You know, it was very uh, cryptic. You know, Ray Fisher had got in on the action and put this up. So it just turned out it was just the um, the anniversary of the release of the film. Uh, one can only hope. Uh, Obi Wan, the new trailer is dropping. So many fans has uh, the new trailer has dropped. The new show drops on May twenty fifth. Uh, but many Star Wars fans all over the world know that Obi Wan spent at least twenty years of his life on Tatooine, looking over a young Luke Skywalker. However, he did leave his post at one point to take on a crucial mission. So let's pull that up real quick. So uh, during the reign. Of the Galactic Empire, former Jedi Master Obi Wan Kenobi embarks on a crucial mission. Kenobi must confront allies turned enemies and face the wrath of the Empire. Will we get answers on who gave these orders? Which allies has turned? Well, well, we'll find out on the limited series, which comes out May twenty fifth on Disney Plus. Now, uh, many fans out there were hoping it would drop around May fourth, which is basically Star Wars weekend for them, but. It's, I think, I believe, a six to eight limited series. So already we're getting some pretty good looks from this from this show. Uh, uh, Ewan McGregor obviously is returning as Obi Wan Kenobi. Uh, Christian Hadson is returning as Darth Vader, not Anakin. Uh, we get uh, Joel Edgerton playing Uncle Luke, who plays Uncle Luke, and we get a couple new uh, faces too playing parts for the galactic empire uh there's always a lot of fill-in going on with the star wars universe if any anybody's into that uh which i am uh <laughs> but uh it's good to see that they're stretching their hand a little bit to uh include more storyline so this doesn't look too bad actually for what disney plus has been putting out between the mandalorian and the book of boba fett which actually was kind of like the mandalorian 2.5 <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what it ended up becoming. So, uh, especially those last what three episodes, it was more the Mandalorian and, and Baby Grogu. So uh, there's, but we're waiting. We're waiting for that. May 25th is when this drops. Uh, we're looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, that's what we got for the nerd new for the blurred news of the week. So, David, my man, mm-hmm. what have you been up to since we? David's pretty much family at this point. Uh, <laughs> actually, I came for. I'm gonna make sure I said it right. Shay, right? I'm shy. I'm shy. You want me to say shy? So I'm, let me say shy because I'm looking at it. Okay, okay. If I there ever, you go. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I gotta put it in my head. There I gotta put it in my head. I'm sorry. You, 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 I, there you go. I want to say Shay, but shy. I got it. Is it? Um, yep. No, I came here for her because what I'm working on right now, she may be able to be a part of it. Hmm. This, and, this is where, and this is where, like, I just got finished talking to one of my students. She's like, damn, that crabs in the barrel thing. I said, nope, it's not crabs in the barrel. This is, a, this is people knowing who she is, knowing who I am, and never putting the two of us together. And she said, damn, that's a whole new barrel. I said, exactly. So. Wait, before you go on, what, for yeah. those who are listening out there or even watching, you listen to this man. He's about to preach. Go ahead. <laughs> Watch this. Uh. Shy, tell me what you do in short. Because I got a couple of ideas after I reviewed your page, but I'm the kind of guy that likes, uh, what's the best way to say it? Tell me what you want, you can have it. You'd be surprised how close it is to you. I'm a writer and a poet, uh, author, blogger, public speaker. Everything that I do is centered around writing and writing as an art form um, and as a tool for healing. That's what I speak about. That's my central theme. I'm also sort of, a, of an anime aficionado. Um, what I'm trying to bring to DC is uh, literary events, like live reads, poetry reads, really inclusive spaces that have art installations. And right now I'm in a, uh, I'm in the, actually in the Mayor's program, the 202 Creates program, working through some of the mechanics of that, how that's gonna look and how I'm gonna pull together funding for the art installations but yeah so i i'm a my writer's a writer every everything that i have i've gotten through writing even the public speaking is just really an offshoot of somebody picking up um something that i've read so 
the blog the blogging is more like my just my open diary so traveler's dash for my little cult following that's just my messy life i'm careful not to call myself a hardcore blogger because my blog is really it's it's just personal stuff trust me i know but but everybody has a springboard everybody it starts somewhere it starts somewhere you know and so you never never think that you're smaller than you think you know it whatever you do it affects somebody's life somewhere else yeah that's that's the hope that's the hope well, so, that's why I created this thing here called Fan of the Stardom. But I have to get permission from Chris before I bless you with anything right now. Chris, would you want to bless this young lady with some great opportunities here in her own backyard? Why wouldn't I? Of course. And before we do that, the Hooded Wonder has returned. Hey! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> loud. Sorry. I knew they were always going. Cool backdrops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. I uh, stole it from a guy off a truck. <laughs> he oh, cut his head. Like, so, I, mean, I, I wouldn't. I shouldn't probably. I should probably not say that in public, <laughs> huh? <I'm> in trouble. <laughs> exactly. So David was exactly. getting ready to drop a couple gems for Mashai. Oh well, can I say hi? Yeah, yeah, how are you doing? Yes. I have M-Shy. no idea what is going M-Shy. on. M Mashai, right? M right? Mashai. M-Shy. M-Shy. Oh, right, right on. I just messed right. up already. Got to do a song. Got to mess it up. Don't Over, worry about it. We've been doing we it all, all night. We all did. <laughs> we yeah, but I'm, I'm the we last one here, so I, I'm supposed to set the shining example. He, he gets, he gets grace. He gets grace. Yeah, so he gets grace. Last one here. We both got on hoodies. He, he so. prostrated. Yes. I always he prostrated his hoodies. stuff before the court. Always. <laughs> Pretty ladies. How you doing? So how's it going? <laughs> but I miss David. Uh, you missed the blurred news. Um, not much else, just chopping it up, yeah, talking cool. stuff. A, a little bit of BC nostalgia <laughs> made it into the chat. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, my God, do Denzel. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah, you, you are <laughs> sipping that coffee <laughs> like it is the lifeblood right now. I should have known. So, let me, let me explain for those. Wait a minute, hold on. Mm, bop, bop. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, this ain't, this ain't nothing like that. So I deliver hospital equipment during the day and at night I'm a vampire. Um, but I'm on call from Monday until Sunday. So I'm pretty, and then I work from Monday until Wednesday of next week. So like, I'm pretty much working like 10 days straight, seven, I'm on call and I don't sleep at night cause I'm always up doing stuff. So this coffee right now is the bane of my existence and the reason <laughs> yes, I live. Sir. Yes, sir. Oh my God! Put, put, put it in an IV. Put it in an IV drip. Just, right. If I could, yeah. I would. Like, if I could just, uh, just get a just small drip. Just shove it in your eyeball. Just like, yeah, cool. I thought about just Epi-Pen. shooting coffee in my veins right now. I'm just like, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, then it's I'm, a bad I'm optic. Right with you. I mean, co- I tried several times to wean myself off coffee. Don't do it. You can't do it. it I'm kind work. of a coffee enthusiast. Like, so, I get I to the point did, where I be shaking so. in the morning. I be like, oh, <laughs> I take breaks, though. It's a lot of acid. I it's like a really acidic drink. Yeah. I just take breaks. But I it replaced is. it with something else, so that's why I got off of it real quick. I was able to oh. do it, like, really quick. So it was the oh, lady that. said, nope, we need you to switch from that to this. And I was like, oh, okay. What is I didn't this know so the I difference. can get off coffee? Banana and <laughs> yeah. strawberry smoothies. Believe it or not, banana and strawberry smoothies. I tried that, but then I don't like bananas. Wait a minute, wait a minute. With a plant-based protein booster, oh, that's what okay. I use because okay. that builds up my okay. muscle mass quicker. So that's why I get back to almost four hundred seventy-four pounds that I can lift. I I believe you, but here's my problem: coffee to me is such a like a ritual. Yeah, like, yes, it, I, yes, I'm and, that, and so that's, that's, that's what I was doing. It's, yeah. a, it's my habit. I get it yeah. like three I would, in the morning. I would go to the gym, do my thing. <laughs> Leave, and I'm going to tell you, I know it's going to sound crazy, but you from D.C., you understand this. The best coffee was the hot caramel mocha from McDonald's because it just hits. Starbucks is too You know what, though? Like, that half is, of that is not caffeine. Yeah. Half of that is just actual <laughs> adult-ass sugar high. Like, it's an exactly. exact- <laughs> <laughs> Like, I know I like my coffee black sometimes, you know, a little cream, a little cream sugar, a but that is straight... Uh, Sugar candy like that. Yeah, no, that's diabetes. That's diabetes. That's diabetes. 
And oh, let me tell you, shit. with three hash browns, it was the shit. Not three hash browns. Three. You got it. That is the balance. Li- listen to this balance. Listen to this balance. <laughs> That's the balance, just balance breakfast. So I'm you glad got, you're uh, here with us, David. I'm glad you're still here with us today. Yeah, like for real. <laughs> like, brother, you had Kev- you had uh, cavities in a cup. Like, you just was just pure <laughs> well, sugar. Like, not, when I was you just might as well took a bag of sugar and just did this. Ah! ah. <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, when I was training for three hours, it balanced right out. I would be sitting there like, three hash browns what is like like that's like if you um eat an apple and then you eat uh four uh cotton candies it balances itself out that's four tablespoons of Crisco. Oh, four tablespoons of Crisco. Uh, <laughs> like if I drink this like sea moss, I can still get four out. Starbucks caramel macchiatos. And then uh, and it, and we still should, should be no caramel macchiato slander. That oh. got the hill days. I knew that was going to get her. I knew that was going to get her. All the caramel macchiato is is, is like a, uh, the bougie Crack? cousin, the bougie cousin of uh, a McDonald's mocha frappe. It really is. Yeah, but it's like That's twenty bucks. Yeah. It, it moved to Laurel. It thinks it's hot shit. We got a house in Laurel. It's it's mm-hmm. <laughs> from, from McDonald's still living on the south oh, side. They don't, DC, you know, they don't know about the value of Laurel versus DC. They don't know that. They in Ohio. Okay, they don't so know. Laurel is like Laurel is DC adjacent. It's a little bit of a drive, oh, or whatever. There's, so it's hood no adjacent. Actual, no <laughs> it's hood adjacent. Yeah. That's yeah. That's what it take is. All the the we, look, but, take all the people, look. take all the people out of your 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 bad side of town. Give them vouchers and move them to the closest part. So it's of like uh, go to like like San, San Francisco and Oakland. There like you they go. took all the niggas and took them from Oakland. You know, from San Francisco yeah. and put them on the other side of the bridge in yeah. Oakland. <laughs> yes, with a voucher, knowing they're yeah. going to have that place torn up in less than two but years. But yep. DC mm-hmm. culture cannot be moved because it absorbs things. Like I'm sure that once upon a time, Landover, Glenard, and Seat Pleasant, all of these little dots around DC probably had their own culture. culture. Yeah. And then much like <laughs> they did. They once did. motherfuckers from they DC did. just spread out a little bit. Once the aunties was just like, I gotta get out of this DC traffic and moved out there, then and it's then the all DC almost traffic, so man. now it's just like we call it inside the beltway. Like inside the beltway. Mm. Is D is like a DMV culture, and then Baltimore has its own culture in Virginia. <laughs> Definitely, <sighs> don't even do mm. it. Don't even. Definitely do it. is doing its own thing. Virginia, mm. way over there. I like, way over there. Look, 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 I like. I like David's really face right now because he's just like. Mm. Mm. No, because she's right. Because I was there. I was there doing the exodus of all the girls who had all the. Remember, all the girls had the Section Eight apartments in the southeast and northeast and northwest, and they all straight went right into Merlin. All the parts of Merlin she just mentioned, they all went right there with them little houses. And in less than two years, them neighborhoods was funky. Gun store, liquor store, gun store, liquor store. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy. That's how it goes here. She ain't lying. She ain't lying for y'all folks around it's the world. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know. See, I'm, I'm digging. Again, I'm digging the. I'm digging their their reminiscent DC culture, and then they're both still there. Well, so yeah. I don't know. She might be. Well, I might be a whole different, very a whole different generation a from her. Variant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I gotta you be know. a variant though. Well, I gotta be. No, a I variant. said me. For oh, me. you said him. Because you gotta remember. Well, you don't know. I'm of the ancient times of Washington. Yeah. No, don't do that. <laughs> I, you know, I do that to myself a lot. The DC like, Babylonian I days. Like, like, I just walk through life, man. I'm not claiming no. I'm not claiming no ancient nothing, no old head nothing. I, I feel as young as I feel until yeah, you. you. <laughs> my knee uh, reminds me. Anderson Cooper. Oh, you said your knee reminds you. Oh, yeah. Your knee, your knee got a funny way of making you remember how old you is. Oh, like, yeah. Damn, I feel oh, twenty. Yeah. Your Listen. knee, your knee, know it's forty five. I got oh, yeah. Shaq knees. I said, <laughs> I, I used to play <laughs> basketball. That's that's all all shit. No, oh, yeah, yeah I try that. that. This man I down. Think. As as oh, they say, you, you, either, you either got Beyonce knees, Meg knees, or Shaq or Shaq knees. knees. I oh, no, knees. I got I got hybrid knees because I only oh, have one. They've been back. I have one Megan knee and one Morgan Freeman knee, like one. Oh. Like, <laughs> Ooh, and then the other that's one. Beyond Shaq. That's Beyonce. Like, that's like I can get I, down into like if I get down, I ain't coming back up. One leg extended. That's that sexy. You might have that one that's pose. That yeah, they squat. had that one pose. I'm like, why she always got that one leg out? That's just just the same. I'm the I'm the character in Street Fighter that's like in the squat with the one leg bent that can only do the sweeps. <laughs> that can only do the sweep kicks in Street Fighter. Like those are the knees I have. Oh, um, like, one leg is it Doslin? Doslin. Yeah. Who was it? I think yeah. it was um. It was the Indian I'm character. Say Ryu. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We're right. You will slide down with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if he gets you in that <laughs> corner by up. that old little burnt out car, you ain't going nowhere. Look. No, <laughs> <laughs> little burnt out car <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my cousin we used to play Mortal Kombat Luke Kane did that shit it was oh my God. that's all he used to do oh, and he kept, and kept you in the corner that was my it was a wrap after that. that that fucking bicycle I, kick I, I was so tired I was so mad when my brother learned that shit as soon as he put that combo together <laughs> yeah, I, was, yeah, 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 yeah. And I don't know what the hell he was saying but that's the only sound I heard <laughs> 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 I don't think they knew what he was saying <laughs> it's like hey no, we how high play. do you have to be to go in the like the sound booth and, and they'd be like, noise. just give me something. Give me something for the kick effect. And you'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> On the mic, just spitting. Just or, or, I mean, because, you know, I'm going to imagine the people. I'd be like, this dude was like, there's like, hey, man, we need you to go home. We got a special move. Think about a noise for it. He's like, oh, okay. He at home, stubbed his toes. Like, oh, 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 oh. That's <laughs> it. He get in the studio like, I'm about to kill y'all with this one. He's like, all right, sound check. Run it. <laughs> this dude was like, this man's a genius! Got it, print it, shop it, let's go! There's, there's, a, uh, <laughs> there's a content creator who always does that. Like, like he's like, like an 80s guy and he's getting the call. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's like, my guy. Like, yeah. something, you know, dinky for a video the, game. That yeah, just, yeah, he had to fight me listening. Over the top. He had he's like, fine, to I'll have it to you fine. tomorrow. And then yes. it shows them like, Luke the Cage. Like, playing the, do, playing do, the keyboard, do, like do, doing do, the do, very do, utmost. He had me listening to the Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> Nuclear Zone track for like two weeks straight. And I'm just like, dude. Oh my God, there's this kid on IG. I forgot that was a hard track. <laughs> You're making me want to find this kid. There's this kid oh, who, tell her son. who chops, huh? I was gonna tell you, tell your son, go back to GTA. Mm -hmm. And if the voice sounds familiar to him, don't scream. Tell him you met the guy Vernon today from GTA. That's right, man. What? He did do GTA. He did. I'm, I'm playing Vernon, the leader of the familiars in the new that GTA is so on, crazy. on the online. And he's gonna go, he's gonna go crazy. He's gonna well, go crazy. that's part of the reason why I listened to your intro. That's part of what I wanted to tell you. There's some stuff for you that you can do. However, it's up to you and Chris to say, or DC, Dave, activate it. See, now I hear the voice actor coming out. I pull hear it. Pull, pull Speaking pull of, up. can I just give, take a quick hot second to give a huge shout out to uh, Tanya Ransom over there at Night, Nightlight Podcast. Like, I don't know if you guys mm. get into horror stuff too, but it's it's a vibe. I might it's listen to it. I like Where they, oh, yeah. Yeah. Where they located at? Um, it's You can get it on iTunes and get it on your, um, wherever No, I mean, where they, where they, where they. Where they broadcast from? You know what? I'm. I have to. I have to look. I'm. I'm not sure if she's on the West Coast. I think she's. I think she's regional. I think she's on the East Coast. I met her at Multiverse Con, and she, and I'll be narrating a story for her shortly. I actually got to turn mm -hmm. it on. Turn it in like this week. But I'm excited about it. Like it's <laughs> you. You'll get a kick out of it if you like. So me, I like to sometimes like just listen to stories because I write so much. So I'm just starting to get into podcasts. I don't listen to audiobooks. I want to get into that, but I don't. I like to hold the physical book, but the podcast I can yes. get into. Just sit so, back and just so like, listen. Let's talk about. So let's talk about. Well, one, David. Yes, you can activate it. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm. I'm gonna let you tell me when to insert. But, I just want to take it one step at a time because I don't want to overwhelm her. But uh, you know, with the go for it, go for the practice. go for it, coffee. <laughs> but coffee. she doesn't know. Ah, she doesn't ah, know who I am. That's why. That's why. She not don't yet. Know who I am, but, so but four more cups of coffee, we be in there. Yeah. But you've written so much, and yeah, I like that. Yeah. What what gets you going? What 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 gets the juices flowing for you to start writing coffee. any kind of story? You, you must not have heard her coffee. I've been here oh, no. five minutes. Ooh, and... Okay, so <laughs> I've always written Come stories and always had like a, a wealth of drafts to work from. Um, I don't think I started publishing stories until. Um, really around the time that I lost my dad. Aside from publishing like short stories mm. here and there and being published in some like um, some magazines and stuff like that, like online magazines, I didn't really start thinking about my writing career as far as traditional or self-publishing until my dad passed. Like he passed in August of 2020. And I always mentioned this because it was wow. like a, mm. sort of like a pivot point for me. Mm -hmm. And Another he feeling. just, he, yeah, one of the last things he said to me, and I'm not sad about it because he was, he was in a lot of pain he was sick for a bit, so like, you know, you know, mashallah. So he, he was like, everybody thinks they have all this time. You know, you don't have all this time. Like, whatever you want to do, like, don't just sit on it. You know, put it out. And then 
then uh, my mom reminded me also, like, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I think that's what handicapped yeah. me and handicaps yeah. a lot of writers. Mm. No, you don't want to put something out that isn't edited. No, you don't want to put something out that just looks like you didn't try or whatever. Um, mm. You want to spend a little bit of money and invest in it as you invest in anything else. But at the same time, it's likely never going to be perfect to you because most writers I know are perfectionists. You know, like if you read it too many times, you're going to find fault with it. But if it's out there, you can look at it and cringe a year later, but by with that year has passed, you've already written it's something already better, there, likely. Yeah. So like exactly. for me, what I do, um, I pull inspiration, everything, something that I read. Sometimes it's really crazy news stories. Sometimes there's a political point that I want to make and I want to make it through, you know, in a fictional way, in a, in a, in a sci-fi, I want to frame it in a speculative way. So mm-hmm. um, definitely reading some of the amazing, especially my Black female sci-fi author, especially reading them. My brothers too, but the sisters, man, they, they definitely- Oh, and it's Octavia like, Butler week as well. So there, there's man, that. Man, um, reading all of the core fours and the, and the, um, and the Jemisons and the Kurtzes and the, just all of these in the McCullough's, like all these women, I'm just surrounded by a wealth of talent, male mm. and female, reading all the Toshi Onyabuchi and reading just like, there's just like so much that I'm reading right now. And all of it is inspiring. Not all of it is sci-fi. I just read a book by, um, by my boy Anthony, it's called Starving Artist, just about his, you know, coming out of like a rough situation and just becoming this family man and mm-hmm. putting his heart into his art and what that yielded for him. Um, I read something called Lovers and Friends by my girl Monique that definitely just, you know, like one of those little saucy, it's kind of saucy, <laughs> but it was sharp, really good writing. And this, um, I just read everything I can, everything. I read some nonfiction. I'll read things like the history of AI, just like everything from, the abacus up to where we have like true machine learning and neural implants and like where it's going. Like, so anything, watch an episode of Westworld, watch some, Oh old, man. <laughs> you know, so read some old Orwell, like wherever I can get it from. Oh, wherever I can get it from. oh yeah. She's in, she's in it. In it. Well, <laughs> you, one thing I do want to say is, um, I understand where you're coming from as far as your father. Cause I kind of had the same thing in April of the same year. Sorry, uh, my dad passed away, and that's kind of no. Well, that's what kind of motivated me too, like, cause you know, doing having to um, deal with that, and then you know, life itself, and then you know, the uh, Wong Chi virus and all this other stuff going on. It really just kind of what? Huh? <laughs> I'm not gonna repeat that. <laughs> you gonna you gonna have to stand on that laurel yourself. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> we okay. Can uh, but so, that. Um, so I don't know what I said, but anywho, uh, no, but no, going through all that, it um, it was an eye opener, um, just because of the circumstances, like I said, with everything going on and the world shutting down. So I understand, you know, getting that, having that um, inspiration, it it is different, you know, for people who haven't went through that. Yeah. Um, it can be hard. And sometimes, depending on, it also depends on the search, uh, situation, you know, because my dad was also kind of in pain, but he went into a coma. So we kind of had to uh, pull him off life support. So it's a little, that's something I never, like people don't, I don't, and I don't really tell this story because people, you know, it's, it's personal, but at the same time, it's hard. Um, and I think Christopher, you know, I was, I was on, this is the first show I ever did after that. And then I started my own, but. It's it it can serve as motivation, but it can also yeah. tear people down. You got to be strong to go through something like that, because um, you know losing a parent is never easy. So I'll tell y'all both. Let me tell you, commend you both for doing it because um, my story is ancient. I don't know if you guys remember Showtime at the Apollo. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, remember, come on now, don't do that. Thing, we remember, remember show time at the Apollo. <laughs> yeah, you made well, it seem reason, like that was like five thousand years ago. I just <laughs> seen it yesterday. <laughs> reason being, reason being, because I lost my father figure, my grandfather, mm. right after being booed on the show time at the Apollo. Oh wow! All because of my bandmate, who I always led to believe to be the man of the group because he went to Duke Ellington and did all this great, wonderful stuff. And when we would go live, people always enjoyed his performance. But it was my music. It was the song that I wrote. 
and it was my dancing that got us on the show. And then it was a lot of people questioning. But my grandfather was going in the hospital right after the show. We taped the show. And for a week, I didn't know he couldn't sleep. Mm-hmm. And when I talked to him, the last thing he said was, hey, David, remember, all the people going to try to clown you. But just know, you did something none of them I ever fucking do. Indeed. Ever. Yeah. And I walk away with that. And then to make it even better for you, you remember saying the man Burns, mm-hmm. house music DJ? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know about him, Chris? Yeah. I've heard oh, a lot well. about DC culture, yeah. That's yeah, what I was saying. Really, the man really Burns. Music and stuff. Right, because I used to do house music and R&B. And a lot of people didn't know that because that was a different mm-hmm. lifestyle when we was doing that. But Sam was one of the people that got me going with my acting because he died two years ago to date, as a matter of fact. He died March oh, 2020. Man. And... Uh, me and my boy Jamal were there to help him. So this is for y'all two to understand. I can relate because he was pivotal in what the community was about to evolve into as far as the music scene. And he still had a respect of old and new heads that were in charge. And it was what his mission was to get the younger people up and people he thought was up. And he would always come over to me and see my light. Always give me champion. I championed him. I helped him out before he died. And then when he died, man, it was like all of a sudden everybody wanted to come out the woodwork. Yeah, so yeah, she understands yeah. what I'm talking about, the DC lifestyle. And because yeah. of him, I've been driving hard with this program here because I don't like to do nothing for nobody because I'm like, eh, they're not serious. She'll tell you. They're not serious. Everybody talk. We got a lot of copycats here mm-hmm. <laughs> in this city, but they don't yeah, believe anywhere. for what they <laughs> talk about. But, no, but, but here, you know we got it heavy. You know you can turn the corner well, and got 20 dudes and say, <laughs> Bro, we are known in the industry as a copy. <laughs> <Sorry. city. laughs> I'm telling you, we, we're known, state. but I'm telling you, we're known as a copycat city in the area. So that's why when I heard her story, I was like, oh, let me tell Chris I want to get on here tonight. Let me see if I can mm-hmm. continue the blessing of what Sam gave me and what my grandfather said to me. Since this sister's doing something none of these chicks and all these brothers be talking about, she's doing something that they ain't never going to do. Guess what? She's completing her objective. That's the point. My God. Yep. Can yeah, we I'm, say it again, I'm, sister? I'm going to own that for myself. I'm going to be like, yeah, just please it. take it. Like, you know what? Today you I'm going to complete my objectives. Yeah. That's it. Like it. <laughs> that is it. Because it's I got such a dumb kind of car and all those DMs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. You know I mean, it. You know. you know it. And I just got somebody who said they're interested in you. So I'm waiting for them to confirm. But again, we, we'll talk. Go ahead. Awesome. I don't think it means like new school DC because I definitely am a fan of like, I mean, oh honey, no, I me and my dad it. played the bouquet. I call it the bouquet, the Bohemian Caverns. Like I remember, I remember like DC. No, I know you're not new. You had me when you yeah. said, "What's your father's <laughs> band? What's the name of your father's band?" It wasn't his band. It was Sunrise I mean, Sunrise Orchestra. And Sunrise when you was said a it, I cat, but. When you said it, I knew. I, yeah. <laughs> you ain't got to explain nothing to me, sis. I When you said it, I knew. I just know you're not as old as this yeah. dust ball right here. But it's okay. You know your wrong. city and wrong. you know your Listen, history. Black folks have... Oh, I say nothing wrong. Now, hold on. Now. Black I folks growing wrong. old is a blessing. Every, for every black person that gets to grow old in this here... Uh, North I thought American about that today. Continent. We yeah. count themselves lucky with all we got going on. So, oh, baby, you got great hair in your hand, you're lucky. Trust me, I came through the 80s. I didn't get shot, and I've been on the news for the last three or four years without being shot or arrested. Hey. Hey, there you go. <laughs> I wish I could say the same thing, okay. David, but uh... <laughs> no, I wish I could say the same thing. I had a pass. I, I did some, They I don't did know. <laughs> yeah, but no. Now she got a know. PID. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was how the hoodie was born. It was just how the hoodie was yeah, born. Yeah, the hoodie wasn't uh. <laughs> I wasn't born with this. It was uh, given to me by... Got the Ryan Charles. Coogler bank yeah. attire. Ryan Coogler bank attire. Yeah, before I, before he made it famous, I, I was, was like doing it. And it was of my own dollars. <laughs> right. I like some the money in my hood. Know. Put it in my yeah, pocket, right. please. And the video made it even worse. Everything is digital. It did. I ain't even bothered to look at it, man. I, didn't I watched it I and I laughed because I was like, man, that's crazy. My man was like, hey, uh, 
give me twelve thousand dollars of my own money. <laughs> Real life is definitely stranger than fiction sometimes. And then great, he wrote it on a note I'm, too. That's what I have to that's check some of these articles. I'm like, is this from the is this a satire site? Like, I really do find myself checking things. Yeah. Like, is this onion. satire? Is this really <laughs> happening? And when they found out that it really happened, I'm like, oh my god, this can't be true. Like, I when I heard that, I was like. Wait a minute, Ryan Kruger getting arrested for his yeah. own money? Yeah. My man got billions of them things and they he's stealing from himself. Fun fun <laughs> fact, Ryan Kruger is one of the reasons that I have final draft. Like when he he gave an award speech where he like thanked his girl and he credited her with like giving him the cash to afford the software. It's not mm -hmm. super expensive, but it ain't you no know, cheap either. Yeah. Whatever. And, right. and he wrote right. um Black Panther on that software and I was like, Well that seals it. And I got it. And it's dry. Get it. My screenplay still ain't done. It's dry. Um, but you, nah, got, it. you got it though. But once again, like David said, you're completing an objective that someone else cannot oh, yeah. do. Oh yeah. yeah. It's it's and it's it's, feel... it's ninety seven percent done. It it needs some polish. But I definitely am writing I... a pilot. Um, it's about a black bisexual Muslim girl in her twenties. It's loosely based on me and my friend Toy in our twenties because we were mm. so. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Like, this I know what's under there. Right. She so, was so polished and like relaxed. No, no. Sis. oh Where no, is uh -uh. that? Where is it at? It's a I gotta see this. Here. You have no idea. It's a fucking this. I gotta see. Oh no! Oh, because oh, you know what? I know. I, I know. I'm gonna sell. I know. I'm gonna sell this work because it doesn't exist. I've never seen it. I have never seen it. I've seen a uh, South Asian experience. I've seen an people of Arab descent. I've seen even West African Muslims. I never see a black American Muslim experience that isn't somehow tied to somebody converting in jail or some shit. Like, yeah. it's never, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. not a queer experience. So I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm excited um, about it. I'm finna write my black ass off. All year. There you go. I already started. Look, she, <laughs> she, had, she had that look. Uh, I see, did you see David? I seen the look when she did it. She was like, hey, she got oh yeah. yeah. Like, it's going it's down. Yeah, saying, yeah, so are we yeah. saying pilot Movie. What else did she say she want? A book. book. <laughs> you know. Okay, you know what. what you, you know what book I I would like to write, and I actually started, and I I shelved it because it, right now is not the season for it. I would like to write the story of DC in the nineties because I I don't know why people haven't really done it, but I have a title for it and everything. I have a title for it. And I'm so, I'm so chocolate like, city Sunday. Wait a minute, see, about the bless <laughs> yeah. I mean, I like that. <laughs> you can have it. It's yours. This is you you it. heard it here first. I got you. Then suggesting you ought to wrote Black Broadway. Okay, I need, I need that. I, I would like her to name is much, um, much as I can. I think it's Brandy. Please get that info um, to me. Oh, for, oh, honey, no, you're gonna be a part of it. Oh. That's what's about to happen for Please, you. Um, she voted on. She so she voted on U Street. About you, she wrote on the whole history, yeah. And then you got to meet Bernie. Bernie is the historian for Ben's Chili Bowl, and this dude been since the 1940s. Do you know I was so in a documentary? A of, I was in a documentary about Ben's Chili Bowl for half a second. It was it was crazy. It was I can't make this shit up. This it was me, the um, the owners of the Ben's Chili Bowl, and then uh, Dick Gregory was there. He's a wild dude. He actually came to the premiere. And somebody else of note. This is so like DC is such a crazy small place. So if you were doing like music or or spoken word or doing something visible, you probably intersected with like the, the same like yeah groups of people. And if you don't know them personally, they somehow had a hand in something you did. But like yeah, DC in my blood, gang gang. But where whereas your friend wrote about like U Street, my writing would probably be centered on. On a walk, I'm a wall seven baby. So it'd be like some Ben and Rose stuff. It would What's be some Ben and Rose <laughs> things, <laughs> ben and Rose in there. So it's all, man, it's wow. all this DC it's culture. Nice it, just, it just brings you all out of them. Okay, I'm gonna give you the really. first gift. I'm gonna give you the first gift. Have you ever heard of the musicianship? No, I haven't. It's the nonprofit group here that handles the after school music programs for children, and they are now mm -hmm. handling. Have you heard of the Whammies? Whammies, yes, I guess I have. Are Hello. they connected? Hello. Okay. You ever, you ever heard of DC Funk? You ever heard of DC Funk Parade? I've heard of DC Funk Parade. Hello. Hi. Hello. 
I'm the producer of the main stage. Are How you, you doing? still doing that? Is it still? I'm the producer of the main stage. How are you doing? Are you going to do it this year? Is it? Are you doing it this year? How are you doing? Everything is fine now. <laughs> no, because social media went away all, during all, the pandemic. All, all, oh, all and then like that's why get, yes. I always ask, like, are you going to bring it back? You know, like. It's oh yeah, what's happening is they turn it. We're going to turn it into the Funk Festival, but we're not going to change the brand name until next year. But here's the connection: oh, okay. the musicianship does a mural walk on uh, maybe the same week before we do the actual parade and the festival. And you can meet the young lady who wrote the book and they got a whole network of authors that they work with that are right around the corner from you. When you said Benning Road, I had to laugh because even though I grew up on Capitol Hill, I currently live. And I'll say it to you because they won't know Sheriff Road. Oh, yeah, you're right there. Oh, man, I know Sheriff exactly. Road. My dude Benning live over there, man, right down the street from uh. Yeah. Nah, I'm going to do that whenever that. anyone says any street. It could be like a Hollywood. Right. Exactly. I'm like, oh yeah, my girl Tasha live over there. She I used to do that shit a lot. People were like, oh yeah, I know Benny. I'd be like, yeah, there ain't no Benny's over here. <laughs> no, okay, I'll, I'll help you out though. Listen, everybody, no matter what hood you're from, if you're from a hood, not a neighborhood, no, a hood. Me. If you're from a hood, you know somebody named Black. Yeah, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Somebody named Black. Thank you, because he said Benny. I'm like, yeah. yeah. You know Benny's somebody named Tuan. You might yeah, I know, I know grown up with, blacks, with uh, an African American child who was very, very light skinned, so y'all just called him white boy. And for some yeah. reason, every hood that I go to or light skin. has these characters, has like these three characters. And Tuan yeah. will always sell you weed. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. You know what's crazy? Here, <laughs> we got Mo. It, she, but she's, not, she's Mo. not wrong. She's not lying because one of my, my best man. I know was three Tuans and they and all sell swan. weed. <laughs> I got that pack. I'm just saying. I mean, right. I know you go down to the dispensary or whatever. This nigga's 45 and still like, selling weed. I'm like, okay, Twan. I'm just trying to get my gas, Twan. Nice to see you, too. Oh. Hey, girl, oh. I never used to buy and, five pounds of weed. And to touch on your other thing about talking about the 90s, that's what they had me in their documentary for last year, where I had to talk about the music scene from the 90s. Where can you know I see it? About all the different clubs. It's on YouTube. I'll connect with you and I'll send everything to you. Send me um, um send me all the things so I can, you know. Oh honey, we go oh, all you have to do is give me permission. That's the whole point of this conversation. That's the only reason why I'm here. And Listen, I already reviewed me you. With some blessings. Just give me permission. Hit me with the blessings. I don't want to turn this into a DC nostalgia show though. I know people pull it's up. Not, no, it's not. Look, it's not. It's not. She don't know who I am. Ain't hey, nobody, hey, nobody kinda see me and Chris. They can't even see y'all. We who just here. Actually, I'm just here because I knew you and David was on. I've been working all day. Don't notice yourself. No, anybody come to see us. Well, not me, I don't know for sure. They're like, there go that nigga in the hoodie again. God damn. Did we Listen, put if I ever on black? you I ever you short, in your black life, you let intro. me hear you Otis yourself. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this. He only brought me on because of the connection that we have. That's the reason why he brought me on tonight. I'm not a regular of the show. They just met me about a month or so ago. I feel esteemed yeah, and honored we, that we, you we, pulled so we, I was we, here for you. For you. Now. <laughs> right. I was brought here for you because yeah, what it is, what special. I do for a living is to get people like yourself out of the DC thing and on the national stage, but still connected to your home base. Because the people you're connected to at 202 Create are connected to people I'm talking about. It's just that people don't give the right information. And that's yeah, what kills cool. me, that you're so close Definitely. to everybody I'm getting ready to tell you about that you don't know. And I'm sitting there, she's right there. They will <laughs> eat you up. Like you can perform at the phone parade. Ooh, ooh, if you want to do one of your spoken words. And because you're a cosplay person, do you know who Rikoi is? R O Q U I S? I don't know who that is. She's a very popular cosplayer person. She has her own team called Plus Alter Entertainment. And they're looking for people who do cosplay, spoken word, as well as dance, photography, and writers so they can do paid I, activations. I cons. feel like when I um when I go online to look her up, I'm gonna already be following her. I always just That's how it works. Cosplay. You're not. Yeah. Right, I know. You're not. I already checked. No, I already checked. You're not. I just oh, okay. Well, stuff. definitely tag me in it. Detective Dan. Definitely oh, I already did it. I, tag, I already sent you, I already sent you your, her, her, your stuff. So she's doing it right now. You do over this shit. Shout out to all my <laughs> cosplayers, man. I love to see oh, yeah, some melanated you. cosplayers doing their thing. I love mm -hmm. it. I love to see. I love you, to see you know, cosplayers. You know Hell Spawn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell Spawn and um, 
Brian he's a cool great. guy. He's such a like a, yeah. a doting father, and he shares a lot like oh, yeah. of his oh, craft yeah. with his kid. And I think well, that's pretty awesome. Guy. Well, you yeah. talked to mm-hmm. his producer. You talked to his producer. You didn't know he was in the film. I, no, I, I did not know that. I know he had a lot of things person. going on, and I follow him pretty closely on Facebook too. And we're just saying a lot because I really don't follow people mm-hmm. on more than one platform because it's two different audiences. Like on mm-hmm. Facebook, I'm like, here I am in my button-up shirt. Coming up to my yeah. neck. Instagram. Oh, Instagram. I'm just like, hey y'all. <laughs> There's trap. But <laughs> hope you like it. Yeah. Um, so good yeah, because my aunts, my aunts aren't, my aunts aren't on I- IG. So I feel like a, a space where I can yeah, be that's that's just, Yeah. Yeah. So like I said, the beautiful that's thing about it, it, you know, Burn is Brie, right? Oh yeah, I love her. I love me some Brie. That's my well, boo thing. Her, her activator, the loud, foul mouth dude that's always behind her, that was me she was talking about. I'm There's David someone Holmes. louder and more foul mouth than Baroness. Because <laughs> I know she's going to see this. She's gonna be like, ha, 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 with her glasses. Oh, no, she'll tell you. No, she'll tell you. The she statement she says, light. she is this is a how phrase. the is on the head, people. And I love the her podcast. She says, right, the phrase she says, get dressed and go. Mm-hmm. I gave her that because two, when we met about three years ago at BlurCon, mm-hmm. I saw what she was doing and I said, you know what? Fuck that. You walk with this fabulous fuckery and I don't give a fabulous fuck Fabulous fuckery. That's anything. the name of her podcast. It's fabulous exactly. fuckery. Exactly. It's really And it's guess cool. who also backs her? Me and her pastor. We both back her. That's how powerful her that. shit is. And I told She's her that. let the church say amen. Exactly. <laughs> her pastor backs her. I back her, and I told her, I said, I don't give a damn. And the people I'm going to introduce you to, I introduced her to as well. So I'm telling you, you can talk to her, she'll tell you. There's money there, and it's also prosperity for you, and it's also something there. So I'll continue, but you tell me what, because you said something about your book. Yeah, I have another installation of this book coming out, Quirky Black Sci-Fi Ooh. Tales, Volume 2, Bigger and Better and Blacker. And uh, queer, it's so, so gonna be tight. It's gonna be tight. I'm excited about it. Ooh. I'm gonna get you to another That's podcast about right empowering here. women. Um, it's called Salt and Catch Up. Salt and Catch Up. They got a podcast about healing with black women, and they talk about yoga and all that other great, wonderful stuff that goes into it. Um, I'll connect you to them. They're also here in DC, and guess where they flew from? Right off of Benning Road. You know what's so funny? I feel like I'm gonna know these people. My first uh, link up into yoga. I actually took a free yoga class at Dorothy Hyde Library, right over there by the Safeway on Minnesota Avenue. And we met, I, I was in that 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 class for years before they finally gave up the space. So shout out to Ali Shooty. She was my um, my old my old yogi, my yoga instructor. And I met a lot of dope women there from all walks of life, all colors, it was cool. I mean, I got eight years of yoga under my belt. So now I'm moving to pole dancing. Before we, before we get into more of the yoga <laughs> talk, yeah, the DC culture talk, we're gonna we're gonna cut this commercial to this uh, commercial break. We're gonna. Oh, I'm loving this conversation. This, these connections. This is all. <laughs> it's all. Connected. I got more. We, we, I love it. We'll be right back. Wait, there's more. Uh-huh. <laughs> Running low on energy, long days, and even longer nights. Tired of all the other energy drinks and bars promise you a lot and never delivering. Need to make it through work but want a product that can keep up with your busy lifestyle? Want no longer? Try Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls. The balls that are so smooth and with a load of nutrients and vitamins to really get you up and bouncing off the walls. Made with all natural ingredients and healthy junk to satisfy even the pickiest eater. Chef's Chocolate Salty Balls are sold everywhere where you buy your junk. And now for those who want that extra kick in the butt, come Chef's Heavy Duty Chocolate Salty Balls with 120% more caffeine than the leading brand. Disclaimer, this product has not been approved by the FDA or World Health Association. Warning, this product is not intended for consumption by children, elderly people, or women who are pregnant, or may become pregnant. You might even get pregnant. Chocolate sauce. <laughs> M Shy's face, her back, her face, the entire commercial. <laughs> She's like, I'm not ready for this. Bro. Not, did I'm you not say you might this. even get pregnant? I hate it here. I'm done. I, love <laughs> I had to. I had to say that. Like, I, you know, listen, I'm a South Park baby. You know, so I definitely think that that was hilarious. Our uh, Peter uh, Isaac Hayes. Was it Isaac Hayes? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was Isaac Hayes. The, song, yeah. Yeah. the voice of Chef. 
It was, I was bored when like I wrote that. So Prime Days, you wrote that. This is hilarious. Yeah. yeah, he wrote it. I did the voicing. So yeah. <laughs> Look at y'all Shout some to my voice dude. actors. Give me some tips. Ooh, I'm not a voice, <laughs> voice actor. You hear my voice? Hey, my voice I'm, I'm just, like, I'm I'm just getting cigarettes. started. <laughs> what do you need to know? Uh, there's so many like tones when they're when, when you're pitching your voiceover work. Like they'll have quirky, upbeat, or they, they have like signals that you're supposed to follow. So I would like to learn more about that. I think voice acting is is really cool. I always said that if I could be anything, I'd be like a male cartoon villain, which typically a lot of them are like, because my diabolical oh, laugh is so deeply yeah. diabolical. Like, it's just so. Give it to <laughs> me. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's rich. <laughs> really Give me a favor. Do a whole scene. Just do a whole scene right quick. Just make up a scene. Yes, go, 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 go. Oh, I see that you've joined me from the boudoir. <laughs> Come closer <laughs> to me and have some boudoir. trouble with me. <laughs> well, I tell you my plans to take over the city. You're going to take over the city? Yes, I'm going to take over the city right now. Have a glass of wine, if you will. You know I don't drink. It's too late. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's all I right. So number two, you, you want to do voiceover that. acting, right? So we got the book. Now we want to do voiceover, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was um someone's gonna get, 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 is not gonna know what that was. They're gonna, they're gonna think it was about a Tourette's or something. Not, <laughs> oh, it was, about a Tourette's. It was about a, it was just an episode. I'm sorry. Thing. Let me run it back. Chris, I think it was a disorder that I just did. Just tell Why me. Why don't I turn my I head? To you, talk you, want me, you want me? You want me? You want me to break, break it I down? Think get, I don't think it's what she's getting. I Join, want to support hold on, hold on. her to the fucking full. He want to make you life. rich, girl. He want to get put me, money I, in your pocket. He want to help you get seen by the people. He want to help you do things. Famously, let me, let me put it to you. People. Let me put it to he you. He want to help you. David wants to say something. Let me put it to you like the evil. Video. I just lost all my male followers <laughs> with that voice thing. No, you didn't. Like, got him. He <laughs> says he <laughs> wants to give you all your hopes and dreams. Are you ready? Fuck that! He want to give you money. He want to make you rich. He want to put you in people in high places. He want to make you get money in your pocket. Mm, yeah. He wants to put me in people in high places. It sounds uncomfortable. No way. What was yeah. that, bro? <laughs> people? What is she? An enema? What the fuck? She's not an enema. She's not a probably, probably why I don't do uh, more public speaking, huh? Yeah, it's the bro. coffee. It's the coffee. It's the coffee. You evacuate the people, not the people. The people. Don't evacuate yeah, the people. That's diarrhea. Sorry. 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 Oh about yeah, about the, the yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah. Let it be organic. Yeah. That's so cruel. Cool. So, so oh, I guess on the script it said, "Alien enters," and then you didn't yeah. tell the actor because it was gonna like because he wanted to get it in one one clean take. He wanted to get this genuine reaction. I always thought that was a cool story about Alien. Alien was a cool movie. Between oh, that yeah. happened, that happened on uh, that happened on Die Hard. On Die Hard, the same thing happened on Die Hard when uh, Bruce Willis. Yeah, the scene where he drops Hans Gruber, they they he knew he was supposed to drop, but they told him the wrong time on purpose. So when they yeah. when so when he gets cut loose and he falls, that's a genuine reaction. Oh no! Yeah, Hell, <laughs> that was a he's only yeah. falling ten feet. Yeah, he's only falling ten feet onto the cushion. I don't care so if I'm falling four feet. My reaction right. is hey, no. You got to tell me, brother. <laughs> don't just have me out here flapping and flipping and flipping and all that. I'll make it short That's for you. Crazy. I do talent scout, but I also people keep saying I'm great at networking, but I hate he it. Is. I'm a guy it. that believes in reverse. Like good at it. <laughs> but I'll show you how I reverse because you know about DC. I do the thing where I cast the net for work. So everything mm-hmm. I'm about to say to you is absolute. Only if you want it. Now, to shorten it, oh, I'm an actor on stuff. television in commercials and movies and TV shows. So that's what I'm offering you. And I also got the management in New York. So you have stuff here and in New York at your disposal. That's why I said you want the book. Link, link me the in. Voiceover. I, want, I want it all. I want all. Okay, I but you got to be specific because wait a minute. You talk to all is a lot. <laughs> you talk to you No, no, no. She can. Black women deserve it all. Black women deserve luxury. You're right. You so do. You're right. But watch this. 
We have to start at one. Let me give you my preach point. Here you go. Real quick, 36 on the clock and go. You have to start with the destination, aspiration, and inspiration. Give me a destination first, like where you want to be at. Then I, nah, uh watch this. The book is dead, but walk mm-hmm. it back. What's the aspiration? What's the inspiration? Because on those fucked up days, that inspiration is going to get you and that aspiration is going to keep you solid. <laughs> uh, I want to be in the writer's room for something of mine that got optioned, that gets optioned. So ooh, if I, I did book first ooh, and then pilot. Ooh, and it doesn't ooh, matter which one finesses into that gig, as long as I'm in that room guess with what? my IP, then I'm, I'm a happy guess camper. Guess what? Guess what? Too many words. <laughs> you want to be in the writer's room, writing yes. for what? Television, film, in the room with pilot, dramedy, Fil- television, television. Film? I'm a televisionary. Okay. Shout out. Okay, to and that's what I heard movie. earlier. That's what I heard earlier. <laughs> now watch this. I got to give it. Ooh, do I got a gag order? Yep. Mm. <laughs> it's for Hulu. But Listen, it's based on don't DC. violate no NDAs on here. I will no, not be a part of this. Look at me. It's for DC, but it's going to be on Hulu. And I got to get ready to read for it. His phone about to be blowing up. <laughs> Somebody yeah, to- David already know I'm hitting him up afterwards anyway. <laughs> so you understand know what I'm saying? He talking about the people. The, wait a minute, watch this. <laughs> What's the word that we use in DC for somebody who does not dress right? Alabama. So you I get what I'm saying? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? That? That's an that African lip talk. Like you barely with them. Now it's so just you know closer. Know I can't even say closer. Did, closer. Did, you, did you know you have to click to say closer? Yes. Yeah, you yeah. have to be able yeah. to click to even pronounce the name. Yes. I don't know how to do it, but when yes. you actually, when you start to hear it, you be like, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, Trevor I, Noah. I sat, around Trevor a lot of, I sat around a lot of Africans at this television station years ago, man. Filipinos and just learned the shit. Like I tell people, I don't speak in language. I don't speak to one, but I can relate to all of them. You know what I'm saying? With the energy that they use to talk and you pick it up, man, and it's, it's fucking yeah, energy is You just hear them in a full conversation. Yeah. I just did it at a Vietnamese event. I got this guy that can help set some living water, and they got this whole thing. They look for campaigns, so it's a whole bunch. But in other words, talent scout, writer, director, producer, editor. Okay? So the way everything you're saying you want. The truth in the life. Everything you're saying you want. I just want to say it to you on air. If I disappear, you'll understand. I've already followed you. I've already shared her with Curtis. The people got him. It's the people. Yes. I'm waiting on Curtis to respond because her poetry for the sexy stuff she got on her page, that would be perfect for his nerves after dark. So mm-hmm. Curtis got you. I'm going to make sure he gets you a head nerves in charge. Recoy with Plus Ultra is looking at your stuff right now. And I'm going to check with Brian. Shout out to Curtis. CD Curtis needs- is uh, just a cool guy. And the way he capes for, for um, black and POC women is awesome. Oh, yeah. It's well, like he got him. a whole show. You should be on it. He got a whole thing dedicated to the girls' night. He yeah, him. definitely. Pop. Cool. He's got some strong, uh, badass women around him too. He's got a nice and that was so that was his whole them. goal. And I and shout out to uh, Head Nerds in Charge, <laughs> by the way, because uh, that's how we connected through her. Yeah, through I follow them on TikTok too. They're really cool. Well, we They're got cool. you. Shit. Well, between Chris and us, D, Chris and DC, now we got you with them. That's uh, a no-brainer. That's a conversation. Yeah, no-brainer. When y'all say now, DC, I don't know if y'all magic. talking about District of Columbia or me. Or I Tom. know, right? I'll be like DC versus Marvel. Which DC are we talking about? You That's why I'd be like, I want to be like, huh? Which 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 one, huh? Which, huh? Me? Okay, so yeah, no. That's how okay. we connected up. But the magic of it is, right now we'll talk. If not tonight, tomorrow. And I'm gonna see if I can get you on the thing with the phone parade because they got at 11th and U Street. No it's soul and R and B. That whole oh, section, and I can see if Brian he was looking for poets and artists to speak at that one. Plus, Brian has his own record label that deals with poetry and artists, and he's right there. And they always had eaten the hotel, always. So I'm like, girl, you you straight. I know they would love you. I looked at your stuff before I got online, and then Chris didn't tell you because see, Chris holding the information. See, Chris was holding the information. Oh see, no! I, I like, wanted it to be a surprise. Like you had about you coming like on. That. I wanted that to be a surprise. No, 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 no! I'm a producer, honey. So I, be like, I always back people's pilots. Wait a minute. Let DC let DC hear this real quick. I back people's pilots. Which DC? Me or him? I produce. Now I wanted you to hear me because I want to make sure you understood what I said to you before, so you can reiterate to her. I produce oh, people's okay. pilots. How you doing? 
I'm doing well. Can I go now? I, okay. He produced people's pilots and get them money. Wait a minute. Hold and on. shows on the tube. He's Luther right now. <laughs> He's Luther the I was gonna translator. Say, it's, it's totally unrelated and a little teeny bit ghetto. It's, it's that my battery life is like really oh, low. Slow it down. Um, no, it's fine. I might, I might have to, I guess next time we go to commercial or if there's going to be another commercial, I'll probably have to go plug it in. Well, we're getting shut down anyway. I have so things. many things plugged into this laptop. <laughs> I think I, 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 it was on. I think I really just uh, uh, under you overtaxed the battery. That's all right. Yeah. We're closing down in ten minutes anyway. Uh, this has been so amazing, Chris and David and DC. Me or the you, city? DC, not not DC. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna really take my name. Yeah, he's already doing his taxes. He ain't think about us. He's, so he's let's let's get you. Wait a minute. Go he thinks I'm joining. Hey, Shy. He thinks I'm joining, but I I don't call him DC. I call him Howard. <laughs> <laughs> I call him Howard. Howard Dewey. Look at him. Look at him. Howard. Second time around, we do it one more time. Ah, 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 ah. Sing it again. <laughs> <laughs> Shout him off. You're actually in key. I'm, oh, I'm tripping man. because he's like actually in key. I'm like not over there singing. <laughs> so. Mich- this ring mm, shy. I'm just gonna let you call me shy. You're never gonna. It's just gonna, no, it's gonna no, be shy. every time. Oh, I'm, I'm determined. DC, I tell you, I'm determined to get it, get it right. I'm one of those types. It's so t- before you before your battery dies, let's t- let's tell everybody where they can find you. This ring for the I told you. I you know, my face just hurts from laughing at DC. I'm telling you, man. So, this time I'm doing Jeffrey shit. Hold on, DC, hold on. She can do Jeffrey Bosch. We got a little plug. We got a little plug. We got a little plug. Gonna, my battery will thing. die from his Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Sorry. So, I'm shy. Tell everybody where they can fight. Um, so, Quirky Black Sci-Fi Tales Volume 1 is out right now. Uh, mm-hmm. Woman in Sajude is out right now. Uh, Quirky Black Sci-Fi Tales Volume 2 is in the works. Um... Well, I do have some feminist queer poetry coming out called Thought They Hear Only Themselves. That's going to be a very loud, boisterous uh, installation for my for my poetry work. So look out for that soon. And that's all I got going on right now. Shout out to Tierra. She's one of my, my badass PR ladies placing me in all these things. Um, Oh my gosh, shout out to Baroness B. There's so many people. I know I'm going to forget people, but like I will like be narrating one of Nicole Kurtz Givens um, stories on Nightlife Podcast um, fairly soon. Look out for that episode. I want to check. Oh my out. God, just all my blurred teens, my blurred family out there, just hang in there. We we on the uptick. Everybody's getting things optioned. Congratulations to David Carlson for his uh, Harriet Tubman Demon Slayer. Making it oh, so many people dope. just on the upswing, and I'm just really excited. Excited for the things that Hellspawn has going on. Excited for the things Baroness has going on. It's excited for my community and everybody, like all the growth that I see because I've been in it for so so many years now. Like since I joined Black Sci-Fi, shout out to Maurice Waters who gave me my, my opportunity with Black Sci-Fi, uh, writing and curating content for them for several years. And shout out to Sean from Pyroglyphics. There's so many people, but you there know, you I like y'all. Show Check me out love. Show stuff. me love. Uh, Follow me. I, I post my stuff sporadically. There is a story about my my books, like a story like embedded on my page, but mostly it's just um, it's all anime stuff and memes and craziness. But yeah, still stay connected with me if, if you'd like at uh, at mm, shy on IG. So I love how she just said that. <laughs> you're right, you're right. It's like, wait a minute, my draw is melting. What happened? What are we talking about? Are you a Kindle now? Just, um, oh, I'm shy. Oh, oh, <laughs> Thank you. Oh, he needs some milk. Oh my <laughs> god! I'm just here for popcorn. Well, trail mix. I'm sorry, I really appreciate you coming on. I'm glad you, we had a chance to talk to you about your work, DC culture, and the whole nine is dope. You got some connections with our man over here, David. David, the oh Oliver. Let's talk about it. <laughs> I am so glad I decided to jump on. I'm so glad I met you, sis, because I got all these opportunities, but I don't have nobody to use them, man. It's insane. It's insane. 
Damn. Got you, sis. We're gonna definitely talk up. We gotta yes. get like yes. this. Thank you, Chris. Because y'all, no y'all like, cool like, ass niggas, like, man. This is, this, this is what the platform is for. Opening the door for other POCs to get out there and get their hands That's dirty true. and get their feet wet. This has been a vibe. No more coffee for no more coffee for you. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Look, what? Get their hands dirty and their feet. Man, what is, well, oh, what it's so much better drink? than getting in people in high places, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be inside a person in high places than uh get my feet wet and my hands dirty. That just sounds uh, <laughs> You going up in somebody's coochie? Uh, 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 saying, now that the word coochie has been uttered, mm, bye, bye. Okay, close the show. <laughs> how are they, by the way? Are they still okay? Uh, I ain't seen my man posted in a while. Uh, oh my God. starving this shit. Sorry, shy, no, they still, they still poor. He hit me up the other day. He hit oh, me she, up the other day. Oh, okay. She died. I think she, I think oh, she froze. She yeah, she died. Yeah. Did it, did it disconnect her? I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think her she froze. Died. Yeah, I mean, it died on her. David, let everybody know where they can find you. Well, you got it right there. David the O, T H E O H. I always tell people I'm a word, not a letter. And you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at the same thing. Uh, website's coming soon. And if you guys want, our page is called Fandom to Stardom. You guys can go there, check some stuff out. We're going to be doing Man on Street interviews, about to start posting some more. Plus, post a movie that I did with Hell Spawn about a year and a half ago um, before my injury. So I had to direct him in this thing, and he was really good at it. The lady's going to love it. Just a secret twist to it, and all the people who hate me, they'll love it even more. <laughs> like oh, you said, yes. when they see this, they're gonna love it. Me, me, let me tell you, me, Kurt, and, and Hell Spawn, we, we stay on consistent contact. We stay, we stay on mm-hmm. consistent contact. <laughs> so, like, like <laughs> it's always something with us three. So, it's always something. But you notice, uh, I'm glad you said that because you notice, because Kurt has said the same thing to me that she's saying, or she's gonna say, is that through all the people that we both know, how did he not know who I was? And I always tell people the thing is either one or two things. The people want to keep a secret because they either don't believe in you or they don't believe in themselves to connect the two of us. Mm-hmm. Or they know that how anal I am and how fast I move. And if they don't believe you can do the same, then they won't do it. And I told yeah. him, I said, because he didn't know until I, he was doing the thing for Violet Universe, I mean, Violet Verse. And he's like, man, this whole time, I said, yeah, man, I'm right there in front of you. It's just that nobody's going to tell you because I'm not fucking, quote, unquote, Will Smith or fucking uh, whoever, LeBar Burton or Phil Lamar. I'm not none of them. I'm just Dave. So they're not going to let you know I'm sitting right here. That's why I said this sister, man, with all the stuff she do, mm-hmm. and she don't know the people I'm talking about, they right there. I was like, oh, my God, this is insane. I got to get this girl something, man. Yeah. There's no fucking way, bro. I just, that's why I said thank y'all because most people don't even do this, man. Go to Scott, like, well, they will take over the show. No, I'm not. I'm trying to talk to her. Make sure she got what she yeah. needed. To bless her and then, like, you. Like I said, like DC said, I'm like they're not here to see us. They're here to you know hear some of the jokes and stuff. But these kind of connections, yeah, mm-hmm. it's, this needs to happen, and yeah, it man. stays happening. We keep that Curtis should have had her on this because Curtis should have had her on her on his thing real soon, man. Because yeah. I looked at her page, some of the stuff she's talking about. Mm-hmm. Tef oh, and yeah. would love her, and then oh, like I said, I yeah. got some other folks. But I'm going to connect her up because I, I realize even though we all know the same people, some of the people don't know all the stuff that I got. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's a sad thing, but, you know, it, it's coming. That's why I told you I'm going to start it's doing it. lives because of y'all. I didn't do it this Sunday because I had to watch my parents, but I'm going to pick it up next Sunday. So we definitely okay. going to be doing that because I found out that everybody, this girl named Kiki, I got introduced her to y'all. I think she, yeah, because she said she knows y'all. Uh, Kiki, she talks about business. Well, on Kiki, the- oh, uh, Kiki, yeah, Kiki, Kiki, Kiki Chanel. Chanel. Yeah, she was one of my yeah, guests. Kiki it's, oh, that's uh, what she's saying. Yeah, she hosted your show. Yeah, so she went out and wants me to get on her show. So I, I got to get on her show on, eight, you know, on April 5th. Ooh, she was like, oh, yeah. Man. I said, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I said, okay, I'll catch up with you. Yeah, no problem. Because I jumped on her live after she followed us. And I jumped on her live with these two girls the other day about two no, yeah, days yeah. ago. And I said, sure, I got you. Let's go. Let me buy one of those bracelets, though. But I want to be manly. So, <laughs> it's like everybody makes jewelry, but they're making for men. Like what happened yeah. back in the day? You could go to any Julia yeah, the and they, they you know, deeds, yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah, like, you know I'm no, cause I like you a good right. um, like a good one. Like I found some at Walmart, yeah. but they break. They easy to break. That's that's yeah. what I'm I want something that right. lasts, but you know what I'm saying? Got the stuff. right beads on it. You know what I mean? Because I like rocking. You know what I'm saying? I rock the. I, I don't wear too much jewelry. You know, I got my dad, my eye watch. You know what I'm saying? The ring, and I like I like a good manly bracelet. 
You know what I'm saying? On my left hand, just because I don't know, it completes me. Like, I don't need, I'm a minimalist when it comes to jewelry. Like, I don't wear a lot of jewelry I never sure. have. Like, well, sure. well, when I was younger, I had, you know what I'm saying, the gold chains, you know what I'm saying, trying to keep up with the Joneses. But now, mm-hmm. I, I don't you, it, it don't be mattering. I need something, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying, something right. that gives me power, strength, and stability. Yeah, my boy, he used to do the stuff with the skulls and the wire work, right? And mm. the crystals. So I used to love getting stuff from him, but he stopped doing it. So I'm mm. like, damn, I ain't got nobody else to do it for me. Because that's what I used to say to every event I go to. Hey, come to my event. Yeah, see, it's going to be something like that. Is that the one with the uh, Chinese or Japanese lettering on it? That's the uh, Wakanda. Oh, okay. Okay, so they kind of, yeah. okay. See, uh, but again, they're copying what we see in the Kung Fu store. Yeah, Where they had exactly. the wooden ones. With the, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But where's the style that makes it unique? Because every time I see these vendors, it's always the same thing. Women, 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 copper, 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 women. Crystal. Jade B. And I'm like, where, where's Jade the B, yeah, Jade that's what he right. called Jake Bees. So uh Kiki's uh friend that they was doing do oh, we lost, lost David. <laughs> it, it was fine. Yeah, we we love having David I think his stuff died. Oh, he, he disconnected. Yeah. There you go. There he is. There he is. He lost him. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> uh the girl on her page, they was talking to Holly Eats. She said she do stuff for men. She just started now. I'm like, oh, okay. Definitely, she's there. Give I me a couple of those in so long. Me. I haven't seen them in so long. Yeah, I mean that's that's why I said to him, man. I'm definitely been looking for somebody, but you know, here all I get is everybody do the same damn thing. Wrap wrap some cork, copper wire around a piece of crystal. That's not manly. No, you man. know what I'm saying? What the hell? I'm I'm not super crystal. <laughs> Cute. You know what I'm DC, saying? Where can they find you at D? Nowhere. I'm invisible. <laughs> Boy, if you don't wake the hell up and stop playing around, the coffee ain't went through in that face. No, I was drawing. No, I've been writing. (laughs) Um, You can find us tomorrow live. Uh, We got Keezy Fuliano, uh, Clay Presley, a rapper and a singer. Um, Coming soon, I can drop some news, hopefully by the end of this week. Mm -hmm. Um, Waiting on this ink to dry. Um, Something I was able to broker. Um, but I can't say nothing yet. Uh, I enjoy having David on as always. Um, it's a fun time. He makes me want to get on here. Like I was, I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, man, I've been working all day. I've been up since five. I started working at eleven. I was on my way home. Chris was like, hey man, you coming on? I was like, oh man, I got one stop left. He's like, David on. I was like, Scare! <laughs> doing a hundred in an event. You ever seen a van tip over at a hundred? It ain't pretty, especially the medical equipment in the back. But I was like, I'm getting home. Uh, but no, <laughs> hey man, um, y'all got no, I, like I enjoy me. David, man. I enjoy working with you, Chris. Enjoy working with you. Um, that's pretty much it, man. Follow on IG with the shit podcast. I just had a guy like a thousand pictures, which was weird. Um, man, I why did thank you. Weird. That's always I don't know. weird when they do like, that. he just went and started liking every picture on the page. I was like, okay, um, but I'm not I doing was that. told. But I was told that means people want you to contact them. I'm like, why not just say, hey, man. Yeah, just, hey, just, reach it, just hit the DM. <laughs> just yeah, hit the DM. I, I, don't, I don't know uh, proper uh, social media etiquette. So if you like a yeah, thousand yeah. pictures, I just think you like uh, you like me or something like that. I just feel weird. Yeah, so exactly. I respond back because I'm like, I'm not. Because if I respond back, you'd be like, hey, how you doing? Uh, you got my got my message. Uh, hey, what's going Especially on? when you sound like that. It'd be like. <laughs> Right. Message. What? I'm sorry. Oh. Who is this? <laughs> I reckon. Or, or I reckon they, they want you to message. sell. Their, they want you to be their brand ambassador. Yeah. But you got to pay fifty yeah. percent in order to wear yeah. this. Hey, like, come on, man. I got these I gotta pay fifty percent off. Of here's, 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 my, here's my favorite. Here's my favorite one. Yeah. Bro, we can help promote your podcast. <laughs> I'm like, nope. My favorite yeah. is. So, if you had $5,000 given to you right now, what would you do with it? Hookers and weed, my nigga. I mean, what you think I was going to do with it? <laughs> Something responsible? Exactly, bro. <laughs> that's what I tell them. I'm exactly. like, mm, let me think. Hookers and weed. They be like, but wouldn't you, wouldn't you want to invest it? Mm, nah, nigga. Mm-mm. That's like going to Disney and getting Diddy's dollars. I can't buy that for hookers and weed, brother. <laughs> well, my favorite now, I got people legit. saying, do you want to get 5,000 followers or 10,000 followers? I'm like, yeah. why? Yeah. What am I gonna do with it? You know what I mean? I ain't on here for that. Unless they paying ten thousand heads, pay a dollar each, and that then we can have a conversation. Now we I gotta talk, pay yeah. you, but I gotta pay you to get five to ten thousand people that ain't real. 
It ain't real. What? It's it ain't, yeah, that's the thing. That the ain't real part. The real, ain't real part. I'm like, swear, I, I don't want to do that. That's not what I'm in this for. That's that is far, so well, far from what I'm in this for. Well, for fake followers, no, no. surprise, man. No, the fake followers. Yeah, surprise, man. Yeah. I tell you big, right now, between between them, the forex traders. The Illuminati. And, and, and hey, man, the what Illuminati kind of car you want? All you, you got to do is sacrifice your chicken. Did you get hit up with the sugar mamas yet? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is... <laughs> it's like, mm, yeah. I'm looking for a young thing to spend all my money on in retirement. Uh, my husband died, and I'm in an oil field business, and I just got money laying around yeah, right. to put on your butt we done, naked we done body. Got I looked at my wife. I said, baby, we done came up. I'm about to get all I told her, like, hey, what? Hey, baby, hey. <laughs> This old lady tried to silver fox trying to get me again. <laughs> <laughs> People don't know it, but we won't make that a shit everywhere we go. Yeah, yeah. We play everywhere we go, man. That's it's what like, y'all oh, think, man. Yeah. They'll be like, what y'all saying? Are they saying Hanson? If you what they're like, if you EU? only knew. <laughs> well, she started laughing because she thought I was doing EU. That's what she thought I was doing when I said bop bop. She thought I was doing sugar bear. <laughs> but you can find me here, Blurred's Eye View, all all one word on IG. You can also follow me at Chris.Fury1 and Chris Fury one on TikTok. And here's the link tree. Check us out because that goes to all the social media links. And here's a little good news. We just hit top 20 in good pods in entertainment news. Eat that, bitch. Okay, man. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Fuck this up, shit. That's good, right there. Boy, we trying to make some moves over here. <laughs> yeah, shit. Y'all inspiring me, shit. Because I ain't been trying to do it. Everybody, mama, <laughs> you ask me, I'm like, man, give me in a festival. I'm that. Guy. But you know, yeah, and David already know me and him. We talk. We gonna talk, mom. <laughs> yeah, he put some talk. fillers out for me, so we gonna we gonna talk. We gonna be talking more. Uh, but I want to thank our guest, and mm, mm, shy, she her computer died mm, on us, and our special guest host, David the O. Hey, how you doing? All right. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? And until next time, when we talk with other blurs and nerds about the topics that only we can, remember to educate yourself and others, entertain yourself and others, and most of all, encourage yourself and others. You can catch us every Tuesday and Thursday. Talking about all this great shit. Hi, Mom. 